Hi friends. Welcome to 30 inks, 30 days, 30 drinks, day 13. I always think of Manda on the 13th because I think she likes the number 13. Manda, if you hear this and you don't, you know, feel free to correct me or just know whatever. I'm thinking of you. Um, at any rate, uh, here we are, day 13. We're going to start off by looking at 12 because that's what we do around here. So here's 12, our beautiful abalone. Look at that. The splats are gorgeous and the ink doesn't really look like that, but it's all right. We can enjoy splats for their own form of art. And move on. Now, what are we doing today? Well, I thought I would do a little tribute to, it's not really my home state, but the state I make my home. California. So I am doing an ink from Pennsylvania, which is actually where I'm sort of from. It's where I was made, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so the ink we're going with is California Raisin. And if you all have heard it through the grapevine, you're welcome. Uh, and the pen I'm going to put this in is my Little Pen Designs pen. And I don't know, it's probably, called, I, it might actually be called abalone and I really considered using it yesterday and it would have been pretty, but look at how good it goes with this. So we're doing that today. And the drink, I went with a classic California cocktail, the Mai Tai. And you might just have heard a record scratch right then. Where you thought it was a tiki drink. It is my friends that originated. Some would have it at Trader Vic's, which is in the East Bay near me. Some would have it at Don the Beachcombers down in SoCal. It's probably like a brr, 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 head to head. Uh, I think it probably came from Trader Vic's because why not? Um, I <laughs> This recipe is on an index card that I have that says Mai Tai, parentheses, wiki. But I looked on Wikipedia and it's not the recipe currently on there. So maybe it used to be the one on there. Not sure. Um, wait, let me grab that card. I have returned with power and recipe card. See, oh, one thing I love about it is that like, it's like discolored and things have been spilled on it. And that's exactly what I like in recipe cards. I wanna see that they've been used and there have been kitchen accidents because of them, right? Right. Here's California Raisin. I like many others draw with the ink on the box. I don't know what color it is. I appreciate from a packaging standpoint that they don't have special boxes per ink because this allows them to probably be a little less wasteful. I like these little bottles. The 30 mil. So anyway, I don't think you can get those anymore. I don't know. I realized that I don't actually own enough pink inks recently. <laughs> Maybe that they're all the same. Maybe it's that all inks are the same. What? I don't know what's happening to me. I keep buying inks in the same color families. Two color families. <laughs> Three if you consider teal and blue separate. <laughs> um, whatever. I like what I like, obviously. Obviously. Okay, let's get going. What do we have? What size nib is this? It says right there. I think that's a B. Does that look like a B to you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today we have, uh, what? Oh yeah. Birmingham Pin Co. California. Raisin. Little pin designs. B. I don't know what model this is. Burton, maybe? Whatever. It's a flat one. And my tie. All right, Burton. Question. Um, I want more because I like flat pens. 
Like, that's my reason. I don't yet own all of the flat pins. Oh man, there was this new pin that I saw that's an exclusive somewhere that I won't be buying. It's beautiful, but rounded. And I was saying the other day, I actually don't mind that I have this really like arbitrary thing that I don't like rounded tipped pins because like it keeps me from spending money I don't need to spend on pins. So that I can spend them on other pins that I obviously do need to spend the money on, right? Right. I'm just, you know, dabbling a little more in there. Wouldn't be a California swatch if it wasn't a little bit excessive and full of itself. Right? Um, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But I did. Um, I'm going to write a 30 up here. I know I did it for 30 inks. Been looking through, I was looking through my inks today, like, what do I want to use this month? And I keep <laughs> coming up with all the same inks over and over. And I'm like, hmm, do you need any inks other than this? Maybe you don't. It's beautiful. Uh, I didn't, I need to like remember to do all the things at once. Alrighty, but when, you know, what fun is that? So we have, I didn't even try my drink yet, y'all. 30 inks, 30 days, April 2024, day 13. Cheers. Yep, delicious, delightful. Uh, A plus plus plus, we'll drink again. Ink. I'm just gonna write Birmingham Pink. No, I can't, I can't do it. I have to write the whole thing. I'm compelled. I just wrote little pins. Shh. By the way, if you didn't know that my tie was from California, I just learned that like, I guess I kind of knew that the tiki bars were, like there were big name tiki bars here but I didn't think of them as creating anything because one thinks of them as coming from like, you know, more tropical places like Barbados or Jamaica or Hawaii. <clears throat> All places that it would be nice to visit the weather we've been having here. <sighs> Which is to say, I hate the cold. Um, Righto, righto. Let's have a California style splat. Oh yeah, look at that. That's some nice stuff right there. Hopefully this looks like one of the little raisin bros. It's been too long since I used this ink. Okay, what are we doing? Come over here. I should mark this page, right? This is so fun. I really like this as a thing that we're doing, just writing random things in here. I could probably use the back of these pages, so I feel a little foolish for not having done that because this is thicker. Also, look at this. I am digging humpback whale on this paper. We're gonna have to come back and like talk about favorites. <laughs> like I don't always do that, Maria. Okay, whatever. 
if she didn't do her assignment, I can't do mine. Um. <laughs> if you know what movie that's from, let me know. <laughs> if you hear Birmingham, do you think Alabama? Probably because, like, Sweet Home Alabama even mentions Birmingham, right? Ooh, ooh. Okay. Um, <laughs> like, lost in my own thoughts for a moment. Thinking about how I wanted to yell, play Freebird at the show I went to with Amanda a bit back. Um... I didn't, but what did I want to? So this is the recipe I followed right here, right? So we have 40 milliliters white rum, 20 milliliters dark rum. I don't actually know if the rum I used counts as dark, but it's darker than white, so I'm counting it. 15 milliliters. This is, I'm supposed to write like, like curacao, but I wrote like, who knows? It's supposed to have orange curacao, but I don't have it. So I did Cointreau, which is not the same at all. Okay. But that's all right. 15 milliliters orgia and 10 milliliters lime juice. That is what I made. If you want to say it's not a Mai Tai because I didn't use the right rums or because I used Cointreau instead of Orange, orange Curacao, well, I'm going to tell you it has Orgia. So as far as I'm concerned, I got as close as I'm going to get. That was the one ingredient that, like, I never had, and I just used simple syrup instead because, like, y'all, who's got time for orgia? Or orgiat, as I thought it was for a very long time. <laughs> I almost wrote down color, Mai Tai. Mm-hmm. California raisin. How many of y'all have been to California? And how many of y'all want to come to California? And how many of y'all in California are like, hi, I'd like to leave? I'm not one of those people. I like it here. It's home for me. Um. Man, look at it. It's so beautiful and... <laughs> Like, just two colors here, basically. If you include blue and pink, you get all of these. <laughs> and something to make this black. <laughs> you know what's missing, though? I don't have very many shimmers in here. What? Who am I? And I'm pretty sure the next two that I've picked out, they're, temp you know, they're tentative. Those don't have shimmer. I'm going to have to do some shimmer stuff, right? Okay, this is almost dry. Beautiful. We'll look a little bit, but we're going to come back and do that tomorrow anyway. So here we are. Day 13 of our 30 drinks. I mean, 30 inks. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. Um, and I, I really like that <laughs> y'all have been supportive of this. <laughs> For the record. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I dig it. Uh, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.